Joining me now is Australian Financial Review political editor Philip Curry, who was there in the new conference with Jim Chalmers today. Hmm. Interesting appointment, hmm. um, especially because he was the chief of staff to Wayne Swan just before Jim Chalmers hmm. was. That connection's been noted. What did you make of the appointment today? Yeah, look, the, the, the Productivity Commission isn't of great interest to a lot of people, Tom. It's not as important an institution as, as the Reserve Bank, but nonetheless it's meant to be an independent body that advises the government on how to boost productivity, and it's been no secret that the Labor movement's been unhappy with it for a while. The ACTU's been demanding it you know, be overhauled, the, and the Treasurer came in promising to reshape it. Um, so I think in the context of that, you know, appointing what his enemies will call a Labor mate to run it, I think is only going to lead to one, one, one conclusion from... Mm. Now, the other side of politics, and perhaps some in the business community as well, that they're looking for a productivity commission that's going to sort of look more favourably upon Labor's agenda and probably drop some of its old, you know, its old traditional sort of economic dry approach to things. We saw only last week that report that took aim at this notion that the government may subsidise the production of batteries in Australia. You know, had a real red hot go on that. That goes at the national... What's that thing called? The Reconstruction Fund mm. and stuff like this, which is sort of big government subsidising manufacturing. Now, that's... Old Productivity Commission doesn't like that. Maybe the new one will. Maybe this will. <laughs> and then that was certainly the Treasurer was hinting at that today. Yeah, so its approach has always just been um, look at the cold heart numbers. Mm. Does this make sense? I, I guess when we're looking at the Productivity Commission and its so-called performance, mm. all it can do is have recommendations or cast you know, mm. its eyes over numbers and make recommendations. It doesn't necessarily mean the Productivity Commission has failed just because productivity has. No. Have governments always listened to it? Yeah, no, well, no, oh, well, well, as Philip Lowe said last week in India, he said, you know, there's no there's no shortage of solutions to the productivity, um, you know, malaise. It's a lack of political will. And he was, his message was not just to this government, but governments all around the world. He said the solutions exist. You've just got to have the guts to implement them. So... You know, all your, the Productivity Commission's done now two of those five yearly reports, one under Scott Morrison. Most of that never got enacted because it, most of it needed the states and they went nowhere. And then they did another one a couple of months ago and that sort of was on a shelf collecting dust because a lot of it really didn't really sort of square with what this government wants to do, especially on industrial relations. So you can only suggest what you think needs to be done, but at the end mm. of the day, you know, governments have to do these things. I guess it will be something perhaps more in sync with the current government. Mm. That, we'll see if that means it picks up the changes. Labor Party conference. Mm. So this is the national conference which, look, depending on your view on how uh, organised or otherwise it is, is supposed to help set national policy. Mm. What's interesting is we're used to debates being um, what managed, railroaded, Stage whatever managed. it might, yeah, might yeah. be. There's a, there's a whole lot of um, emotional debate mm and then ultimately the number's been arranged to mm. kill it off. This time, Anthony Albanese seemingly doesn't even want debate on yeah. things such as AUKUS nuclear-powered submarines yeah. because of its importance to the alliance. Well, that, that's right. So we've been rule writing stories for the last little while about um, motions at various state confidence coming predominantly from the left. There's a lot of anti-AUKUS feeling inside the Labor rank and file, and Paul Keating, as we know, stirred that up you know, quite successfully uh, earlier this year. And, you know, we saw a big motion was going to get raised at the Victorian conference but sort of died at the last minute. Um, and there's been a lot of talk about doing something big at federal conference, uh, national conference next month. But now we read today in the Oz that we were always expecting this motion never to pass, that the factional bosses were going to do a deal to make sure it didn't pass so as not to embarrass the government. And that's what we're used to. Now we're reading... It may not even, they may not even allow a debate on it at all, um, which sort of takes you back to the Labor Conference of 2009 when you know, Kevin Rudd had that sanitised affair. There wasn't a single vote on the floor in all three days. I don't think it'll be that ridiculous, but you know, it'll be interesting. I mean, it's a big thing for Anthony Albanese to tell some of these unions like the AMWU and the ETU, you can't even say your bit. You might get the wrong result. So um, you know, we'll see how that transpires. And that might mean they talk out a lot outside of the official well, they may just, conference. They may just or... decide to, you know, <laughs> to ignore yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, briefly as well, the other big topic could be Israel and Palestine. Mm. The interesting part same of this again. is, yeah. yes, it's the same again, but, you know, this is at a time when there's concern within Israel around mm. the, the direction of the new Netanyahu government mm. on the judicial reform. So, yeah, well, well that's, more, that's more a domestic issue in Israel and a, a serious one to sort of basically legislate against the separation of powers of the court. But uh, nonetheless, that government's looking pretty shaky at the moment. But this Israel-Palestine, you know, the, the Labor immediately recognised the state of Palestine is, is a long, long issue. The left's wanted to prosecute. What we're seeing, Tom, is probably the first time the left will have the numbers at conference, but it won't be allowed to use them. And that'll be, <laughs> that'll be the, the humorous irony that we're going to see unfold over the next few days, a uh, few weeks.